Hello and welcome to GAK. I'm Mark. And I'm Joe. And today we're looking at the new California Acoustic Series from Fender. So this is Fender's kind of new entry-level acoustic series? Yes, that's right. Um, and they've, they've, they've brought them out in three different uh, kind of sizes or different... With different models, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we've got the... Uh, this is the... This is the new Porter. New Porter. We've got the Redondo. We've got the Redondo, yep. And, and the Malibu. We've got the Malibu. Teeny one. Yeah, so the, the new Porter, this is like a grand concert -y sort of uh, single cut thing. Um, the Redondo is a dreadnought and again is a, has a cutaway. And the Malibu is a dinky thing. I don't know what the name is of the body shape of the Malibu. I should it have looks... looked it up. A tiny dreadnought with no cutaway, which is totally awesome. One of the coolest things about this series is there are loads of great colours in the range. We kind of picked some of our favourites here. This uh, rather fetching copper. Rustic copper. <laughs> which is a great name for a colour. And, and and Fender have done loads of this. Like we saw this on the um, offsets. Or the offsets. They had loads of cool colours. They were doing all the, the pastels thing, which yeah. is super I think popular. They're, they're appealing to like a younger, cooler crowd, do you think? Well, yeah, but also I kind of feel like Fender have starved the market for like, for years, all you could get was like black, Olympic white, candy apple red, True. sunburst. That was it, that was Fender's colours yeah. and, and left all the smaller brands to sort of mop up by making things with interesting colours. So it's great, like the, the offsets and again with this series of acoustics that they've introduced some fun like things. this one, which I think, what are they calling this one? Uh, uh, what, oh. Uh, Aqua Splash. Aqua Splash. It's, you know. It's a brand new colour, which is great. Um, I love that they've kept the sort of, uh, the, the, the gold uh, scratch plate, it's not, it's not anodized aluminium like it would have been on the on the original version of the of the sort of California series. Actually, I don't know if they were originally called the California series. This this range of guitars has um, an, a kind of awesome story behind them because they were like you said that they were fun and they were designed completely to make acoustics fun. Um, yeah. it, so so the California series originally came out in the sixties and. Uh, and it was at a time when you could get affordable acoustic guitars, but, but not, not very many. And they were all kind of a little bit average and boring. And Fender just applied, they'd been so successful by this point with their electric guitars that they applied some of that sort of California fun into their acoustic ranges by introducing this Strat headstock, which incidentally, like the fellow who came up with this whole series was uh, this, this German dude who'd been working for Rickenbacker, who literally like strolled into Leo Fender's workshop one day and, and um, ended up being, uh, you know, very heavily involved in the development of these guitars. But like having a Strat headstock on an acoustic, it is super cool and fun. Yes. And these are affordable guitars. Like, no, these aren't supposed to be sort of Martins or Taylors. So I don't think you can apply that that same thing they're not trying to be the sort of ultimate uh acoustic for a for a sort of solo performer they're just fun it's a cool punky acoustic it's an acoustic for sort of young players or people playing acoustic in a band people who want to like thrash out some chords you know no this isn't especially for you know for finger style uh, you know, classical performances, they're just super fun acoustics. And it's what Fender should be doing for acoustics. Definitely, and I think you know, at, at the price range that they are at, um, they do sound great, like we'll, we'll hear in a bit. Um, but they do sound good. Um, we've spec-wise, what, what are they? Mahogany body, mahogany necks. Yeah. Um, we've got Palferro uh, fingerboards. Yep. Uh, apart from on the Malibu, which is a walnut fingerboard. Yeah. Um, I, I actually really like that they've gone for mahogany necks and that they haven't finished the necks like normally you'd see kind of uh maybe a maple neck on the back of these but i love you can see it less on this because this is copper but certainly on the yeah on on the malibu it looks great having that dark wood neck i actually think it makes it look way more sort of premium yeah, it's, it's a nice I touch i think these are like well finished entry level acoustics and obviously with the Fishman um, pickups on all of them yeah, and, and uh, like when we looked at the, the Squire Contemporaries, the Fender seemed to be doing the matching headstocks head a lot at the moment as well. Yeah, which is definitely awesome. Everything should have a matching head cap. Now Fender have uh, introduced recently with the Squire Contemporaries, with the, with the Fender offsets, and now with this California series of acoustics, 
they are aiming at making sort of fun, interesting guitars that are maybe aimed at a more entry level or a, a younger player or a fresher audience. Um, and what's cool is they've introduced this Fender Play. So with every Fender instrument, you you get access to their online resource of, of free lessons and you can sign up for that as well. And obviously, as you can see, they're, they're advertising it quite heavily on sort of the front of all their new guitars. But I think it's great they've introduced something to go along with the sort of people who are gonna be walking into a guitar shop and seeing like a, a peppermint Fender Malibu and they're gonna want to learn to play that. And Fender have got that covered for you as well. It's great. Cool, let's uh, have a listen. Let's see what they sound like. So that was the new California Acoustic Series from Fender. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we shall see you very soon. <laughs>